Hello and welcome, I'm Saffron from saffrondemonesies.com and in today's video we're looking at EFT for creating and maintaining healthy boundaries. So what we mean by boundaries are your own rules, your own internal rules that you create for yourself that keep you emotionally, physically, financially safe, safe in all kinds of different ways. So we can have boundaries within our work if we are employed or if we run a business we can have boundaries within our relationships we can have boundaries different boundaries for different relationships boundaries within our parenting every area of life we need to know what is okay for us and what isn't what's acceptable and what's a step too far what we need and what we're willing to give and what we aren't willing to give and sometimes it can be difficult to get clear on what the rules need to be for you to keep you safe so that you still feel like you're um, connecting with people and, and, and being helpful and, and doing the things that you want to do but that your priority is keeping yourself safe so if you bring to mind an area of life where you might need to work on your boundaries so it could be that you're being asked to do more than is manageable at work it could be that you have clients asking you for discounts that you can't give it could be that you're expected to do more than your share of the housework within your relationship. It could be that your kids overstep the mark in asking you to do things that they can happily do for themselves. Or, or any one of, of a number of things. So take a moment to bring your own situation to mind now. And then we'll begin doing some tapping to get clear on, on boundaries and what you would like those to be. So if you haven't done one of these videos before, all you need to do is tap where I'm tapping and repeat what I'm saying. We're going to start on the side of the hand and we'll move around the points, just kind of copy off what I'm doing. So we'll say, even though I'm not clear on what I want my boundaries to be, I've never really thought about boundaries with regards to this situation before. I love and accept myself exactly as I am. Even though I'm starting to feel like I'm giving away too much in this situation. You can name your situation if you want to. That's okay. I forgive myself for that and I love and accept myself exactly as I am. Even though I haven't yet set healthy boundaries and I really need to take a look at what I'm doing in this area of my life and what I want and what I need, I choose to love and accept myself exactly as I am. Even though I don't really know about healthy boundaries, I haven't thought about them before. I love and accept myself exactly as I am. And we'll move around the points now. I don't have healthy boundaries in this area of life. Perhaps I never have. I haven't really thought about what I need and what keeps me safe in this situation. I've just tried to do what's been asked of me. Tried to make everyone happy. Because that's what I've learned is the right thing to do. But this hasn't really kept me happy. And it hasn't kept me emotionally safe. So maybe boundaries might be helpful here. Maybe thinking about my needs. And coming up with some rules. Will help me to be sure that my needs get met. 
My needs aren't really being met just now. And they haven't really been in the past. But I'm ready to consider what my needs are now. And to see how boundaries might help me. It feels a bit scary to think about my needs. I'm not sure what the consequences will be if I stop prioritising other people. If I start to put myself first. I'm so used to putting other people first. Making sure I do what's needed by them. I wonder what they're going to think when I start considering what I need. I wonder if it's okay for me to do that. They might not be happy with it. They might get angry with me at first. I really don't like the idea of that. That puts me off from setting boundaries. It makes me think that it's not a good idea. I really don't want to make people angry. And that's how I got into this situation. That's how I let go of my own needs in the first place. I wanted to keep everyone happy. And that came from a really good place. I was trying to do a really good thing. But it's not working out for me anymore. I need some boundaries here. I need to put up those boundaries that will keep me safe that will keep me from being exploited and taken advantage of. Part of me feels guilty for even thinking like this. I should be doing these things for people. I'm sure they don't mean to exploit me. But maybe their intention isn't the same as what's happening. Maybe they don't mean to exploit me. But I'm still ending up exhausted. I'm still ending up depleted. Giving away more of my energy than I can. I feel in two minds about setting these boundaries. But something needs to change here. I don't feel like I'm taking good care of myself. I don't feel like I have done in the past. And maybe it's okay to start taking care of myself now. Maybe now is the time to consider what I need. I'm sure the people who are taking my energy would feel really upset if they knew the effect that it was having on me. So maybe it's not good for them either if I let this situation continue. I know that it's not good for me. And if it's not good for me, maybe it's not good for anyone. Maybe my boundaries will be a positive thing for them too. Even if they don't think so at first. 
maybe my boundaries will be part of trusting them to take care of themselves empowering them to take charge of their own lives and to find out how capable they are maybe my boundaries won't hurt anyone even if it looks that way at first. And maybe by having these boundaries in place, I'll have more energy. And maybe the help that I do give to people will be of a better quality as a result. I can't give anyone anything if my energy is depleted. So maybe keeping my boundaries intact, maybe creating my boundaries is a way of having more to give. And maybe even if that weren't the case, I would deserve to have more energy. Because I do deserve more energy. I don't deserve to be depleted like this. That's not being fair to me. And it's time to show the people around me that I deserve to be treated fairly. And I do that by treating myself fairly. And I can show them that I deserve this fair treatment. So thinking about putting boundaries in place, even though it feels a bit scary, and even though I'm worried about people's reactions, I think boundaries could be a positive thing. I'm ready to find clarity on what boundaries I need. I'm ready to understand how to protect myself now. And take a deep breath. And take a moment to make any notes on anything that came up for you during those rounds. It might be that you found some clarity on what boundaries you would like. It might be that you still aren't sure what the boundaries should look like, but you have decided that you would definitely like to have some. There's going to be an extended version of this video available if you would like to explore the idea of boundaries in more detail. So. I hope that that was helpful to you and if you would like to um, get the extended version and the workbook that goes with it they'll be available from our website and the details for that will be at the end of the video and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye!